are you doing? Happy full moon. It is full moon in Aquarius. What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? Hello to all my beautiful new subscribers. How are you guys? I truly appreciate you guys. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell if you would like to see when I upload content. Okay, tapping on in. So let's talk about this full moon in Aquarius. Understand it's the second full moon in a row. Okay. And I really feel like this full moon with this um uh, with this Leo energy kind of Virgo cusp is about you getting getting in center getting into the the alignment of who you are consciously collectively you know I also feel like this is also about like um having long term plans or you know you could be ascending at this time you know just make sure that because the energy is just so it's it's great energy so just make sure you're grounded and you're not sitting too much in your thoughts because a lot of things you're supposed to be releasing and letting go of at this time don't get stuck in those thoughts of um oh i could have did this or i should have did this or um don't get stuck in those thoughts okay i just feel like it's time to release and let go of things that you have been holding on to for a long time. You're like breaking free from all the limiting beliefs, all the anxiety, all the stress, all the worry, all the fears. You know, you're 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 breaking free from all this. So just keep that in mind. Um and find ways to express yourself and be yourself and who you are. Okay? Because we're we're no longer going to attach ourselves to what was. Okay? So with that being said. Let's hop right in. I do want to start off with an ancestor message. This full moon reading will be a healing message. For those of you guys who do not know, I am having a full moon meditation in my group. She's the one to find get it. If you would like to tap in, go ahead. Add, add, add me now. It's going to be later on tonight, 845 Pacific Standard Time. I am in Cali. So um, I know a lot of you guys who watch and follow me are across the way. So um. It's going to be 845. I'm doing it late so everybody can tap in because I know people will be busy. Okay. So, and also if you would like to stay in contact with me, all the information that you need is in the description box below. If you'd like to take a reading with me, DM me on Instagram, find me on Messenger. And also, um, if you would like to leave any kind of love, donation, token of love, the cash app, Shade of Goddess 33. And that's in the description box below as long with my paypal okay so spirit what messages do you have for the collective working in their highest good for their highest favor Ooh, asking for messages full of unconditional love healing light truth clarity understanding asking to connect with the sacred divine please deliver all hydrational messages full of unconditional healing for the collective at this time Please protect our energy, our mind, our body, our spirit, our frequency, and our soul family as we enter into this sacred divine space. Thank you so much. Ashe, Ashe, Ashe. So let's hop right in. Understand it's a general reading. It may or may not resonate with you. If it does, hit the thumbs up button. If not, next time. So let's see. What ancestor messages do we have for this full moon in Aquarius? Current energy, please be an open channel okay yes respect your physical body because you are a channel of divine love light and energy okay so we have this right here can you guys see that no because i was reaching for the book my bad i got my like cards and stuff spread out on the bed um 4 11 i just seen that so um be an open channel mediumship ancestors and spirits and I just feel like with this be an open channel and off to also go after your goals. I feel like this was a recent message for us to go after our goals. But be an open channel. Let's see. Let's 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 see. Let's tap in. Let's see what this is talking about. It says the Sagma has shown up to make you aware that you are a natural born medium who can channel past loved ones and spirits. You may have already felt or seen spirits or receiving signs or messages from the other side. You will be called to deliver a message or act on behalf of someone's ancestor or loved one. It's time for you to learn more about your natural mediumship and channeling skills. Um, the divine 
The divinatory meaning is hone in your natural mediumship with study and practice. Begin by asking your spirit guides and ancestors to surround you in a protective bubble of gold. Light. Remember about mediumship. Join a join a development group or attend a workshop. Do not be afraid of your gifts. It is wonderful to do what you love to do. I feel like that's not for everybody, obviously. For some of you guys, the message is, what was at the bottom of the deck? Respect your physical body, detox, rejuvenate, and relax, and go after your goals. It's here, and I just sent that. That's here. So some of you guys that really need to take action and go after your goals and pay attention to everything, the energy that's going on around you. For some of you guys, this be an open channel. Is your guides, your ancestors, your spirit guides trying to reach out to you? Others of you guys, if you guys have been trying to figure out what your gifts are, I always use this affirmation. What are my gifts and how can I use my gifts to um, better myself in the collective? Some of you guys are actually mediumship you know some of you guys have communication with your spirit team and ancestors and they're trying to deliver divine messages to you at this time so be very open to receiving this info this information that's why it says be an open channel all of you guys aren't a medium right all of you guys are not um look breathe is here okay let me just tap into these real quick but going after your goals and respecting your physical body is very important for you at this time understand that you are supported and protected and you're needing to find time away um, to be able to nourish whatever is going on in your body. Physical um, it's detox, rejuvenate and relax because I just feel like this is very like vacation-y type of um, energy. Some of you guys could be feeling cold, lost, confused um, on your spiritual path. But spirit is saying, don't, don't get in that energy. Don't sit there. Just keep going and keep focused and keep striving because you are protected and supported by many. Okay. Um, and I also feel like this is that Leo energy. Okay. And then I also feel like the ax in his hand is breaking cycles, conditioning, chains, um, thinking, uh, perspective It's breaking up a lot of negative and stagnant energy around you. Um, so go ahead, go after it. So anyways, let's hop right into this real quick. Let me see. Sarah, what message is the African collective? Just give me two. So something about finding your center as well. Okay, because they just want to talk. So I gotta talk. And this is everything that I just said. Inspired passion. And this is saying don't give up, don't lose hope, don't lose faith. <clears throat> Paying attention to your synchronicities. Hope is whatever intentions that you have placed. This light that you have, everything that you need to experience is already within you. So you need to just really trust at this time with this hope card. Look, and trust is here. Okay. I didn't even know that. Trust is here. <clears throat> Some of you guys are building relationships, are wanting to go after relationships, are starting new relationships. These are very beneficial for you and your soul plan at this time. That's why it's right here with Stand Your Ground. And some of you guys could have a lot of thoughts going on, paying attention to your dreams or just things happening in your dreams. Um, this is all because the light within you is starting to awaken and starting to shine bright. So you're a nat naturally starting to tap in to the, your, your spirit team. Okay. There's no need to be fearful here. Just paying attention to your dreams. There could be someone trying to reach out to you. Also, I feel like you guys are needing to go back and study, but you guys are needing to really pay attention to your thoughts at this time is what I'm getting. Um, let me just see what the blockage is here. Okay. That's a lot. Passion is your blockage isolation not knowing when to cut off your energy wisdom listening to that inner you and enlightenment is also here but the two that came out and stood out is creation and instincts listening to the natural listening to your divine inner being um is, is here okay these are great spirit messages actually listening paying attention to your instincts and, and then the 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 it was here respect your physical body that's listening to your intuition listening to how your body feels and reacts to certain energies okay um with this creation card, it's also saying don't be, don't be afraid to create because whatever it is you're trying to create, go after or move forward or move towards is all a part of the divine plan and process. That's why it's here with creation and instincts because you're being intuitively nudged, guided to go in a certain specific direction. We also have release here and trickery and this is breaking free from any facade that you have been putting on. This is breaking free from the, the lies that you keep telling yourself, you being in denial, not being able to accept the truth, so on and so forth. And then this is your quest. This is spirit trying to get in contact with you to tell you that you're on the right path on your destiny this rejection is 
your fear. Stop allowing people to stop and block you or convince you or tell you otherwise because you're destined for greatness. That's why you're holding on to some type of guilt, resentment, um, all that. So that was beautiful. I want to pull an angel answer here. Best advice for the collective. Look, communi clearly communicate. That's there. What this clearly communicates, spirit is saying, open up that mouth and tell us what it is you need so we can be able to help you and then trust that we got you, period. At the bottom of the deck, it says, if you believe the situation will improve, okay? And then we have reconsider. Some of you guys are needing to reconsider and remain positive because you have big happy changes coming, okay? Others of you guys, you're not listening to your intuition. Your intuition has been telling you for months that something isn't unlikely. It's something, it's something is not going to, oh, look, I don't even want to stay in my hand. That something isn't going to go in your favor, Yes, it's blocking your abundance. Yes, because yes, you have abundance. So yes, it's it's like it's like changing your perspective or needing to change and shift your perspective here because this um this this situation will improve and it's unlikely. Is like I don't even know how this came out. Communicate clearly. Listen, it's, if you believe, no, will listen to your int with intuition. You're not listening to that. The situation will improve. Came out with remain positive, big happy changes, and reconsider. Look, unlikely this situation will improve. Some of you guys are needing to move and shift and go in new directions. But you guys have been you guys have been in this energy since forever. Okay? So yes, you guys will end up out on top, but you guys are needing to trust and listen to your intuition. Okay. Clearly communicate. Spirit is saying open up. Open up. And trust. You have trust twice. Trust, and then at the bottom we have let go. Okay, so let go. Let go could be of anything. You can be let go in a fear, apprehension. You can be let go of stagnation. You can be letting go of pro um, procrastinating. You can be letting go of um, you, 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 and your, you and you not thinking that you deserve and that you're good enough. You know, it's a lot of things that you could be letting go. It don't have to necessarily be a relationship. So just take the message how it resonates with you, please, and thank you. Best advice for our spirit messages. Give me one more. Thank you. Best advice is eight of water. Okay, I don't know how clear it needs to be. Okay, if you're looking for answers from spirit, this the eight of water, it says it is desire to move on, to search for something more meaningful, spiritual, and emotional growth. So some of you guys have this desire. That's why passion is here because there is something that your heart is calling you to go towards, to go after, and you guys have not. And this could have been going on for the past eight months. You've been feeling this urge, this, this want, this need to go and do something and go towards something better. Or you know you you know there's some more, there's more meaning to what you currently have going on in your life to search for something more meaningful, spiritual growth and emotional growth you guys have outgrown you guys have outgrown so many things some of you guys are needing to know you are the shit and you are going through some tough shit okay it says you are the shit don't forget it everyone has their tone welcome to yours gather your tired ass up and handle it spirit is saying don't give up that project that person that idea um is waiting go after that shit the world has your back okay right now you guys are taking too many you guys are giving too many fucks. You guys pick, have the phone in your hand. You, you're constantly on the phone. You get what I'm saying? You guys are caring about what's really going on because it says you're giving too many fucks. Give zero. And then it says put the phone down. Too much screen time is making you awkward and sad. Go talk to a live person. Some of you guys are spending too much time on the phone. You guys are not connecting how you guys should be connecting with the outside world and spirit is saying get your ass up and get out and go and go get this and go get this. Go get this uh, energy. Go, go, go get it. If you want new, you want better, go get it. And that's the channel message for you guys, for your ancestor reading before this full moon energy, okay? So anyways, I was not expecting to do all of that because how many minutes we had? 13 minutes on spirit message. Love it. Okay. Let's see. When it comes to this full moon, I don't know who spirit guide that was, but they totally took over. They say, let's go. It's time to go towards what it is you want. Eight of Cups is saying, walk into a new direction. Stepping into your faith. Okay? Trusting in the divine. Understanding and knowing that it's time to receive um, abundance, but it's also time for you to let go. What's the overall energy for this uh, new moon? I mean, full moon. Be bold and make the first move. Don't let your pride get in the way here at the bottom. Don't let your past hold you back as well. Okay? So, these are very clear. Give me two more. Okay. They said, I am the two more. Give me two more, please. Don't let your pride, don't let your pride hold you. I mean, don't let your pride get in the way and don't let your past hold you back. Be bold and make the first move. It's like, it's time to go after what it is you want. And then your emotions are running high. I just want one more. 
What do you need to release? Period. Okay. It's time for you to take action. Time for you to go after your dreams. It's all that. Okay. Don't let your past hold you back. And that the past could be anything. It could be a person, place, or a thing. Just whatever it is. Don't let who you were hold you back from becoming who you are or who you are meant to be. Don't let your pride get in the way. It's like don't let your thoughts, your ego, don't let other people talk you out of your blessings. Don't do that. And don't talk yourself out of what it is that you deserve. Do not do that. Okay. It says your emotions are running high. That's your ego. That's you being all in your thoughts. That's you being confused. That's you carrying on your burdens and other people's burdens. You're wondering why you're always sad. You're emotional because you're carrying on another person's energy and yours so it's going to weigh you down you guys got so many so much going on in your life to where you just need to stop and think your emotions are running high and then we have what it is what is it that you need to release how are you feeling what is it that you need to release and let go of what is it that you truly need to walk away from and stop lying to yourself about this energy what is this thank you fear hello what is this and perseverance and, 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 and spirit is saying, you need to overcome whatever this is. You need to overcome this. Whatever it is you're telling yourself, I realize that I am testing my resolve to live in the energy of love. Whatever, whatever fear is holding you back, okay? Break down fear. The six of cups and that's the past okay the six of cups is in reverse this is the past always going back to the past always always reverting back to negative thoughts always reverting back to your comfortability always going back to what makes you feel good always going back instead of starting something new and that is what you're afraid of letting go you're afraid of letting go you could for some of you guys this could this could be a past lover this could be kids this could be something but whatever it is you're allowing you're attaching yourself to something that's no longer a part of you give me one more for fear what is this? Eight of Cups. Okay, I, I can't with you guys. I'm about to go. Because you already have all the mental clarity that you need. The Eight of Cups is saying it's time for you to walk into a new direction. This is you going on a soulful journey. This is you going towards the sun. This is you no longer believing in the illusions. This is you allowing yourself to no longer be afraid of what you cannot see. And this is why it's so hard for you to walk away and go towards something that you want or something that you're needing to go towards because you're like, I don't know how this is all going to play out. There are so many different things that could happen, but Spirit said, I have all the mental clarity. All you have to do is trust it. With that eight of, ace of swords there, with the five of swords, aren't you tired of, of living a lie? Aren't you tired of arguing, going back and forth, bigger and petty arguments, being manipulated? Aren't you tired of being indecisive? Aren't you tired of having to um, always feel like you're on defense mode, especially when you have to emotionally withdraw the situation that you know that the ten of cups is here. You know you're not happy. You know there's no love. You, you know that there's something more that needs to be happening in your life, but what are you doing? You're settling because you're afraid of rejection. And that's why the rejection card was there. You're 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 afraid of rejecting. You're you're afraid of rejection, and you're afraid of fully being accepted. You're afraid of how people are going to see you. And what Spirit is saying that in order for you to be successful, in order for you to grow, in order for everything, in order for your abundance to come in, you're going to need to walk away. And this is what this moon is telling you. That's why I said long-term planning. What is your long-term goals here? Um, how can you ascend past whatever it is that's holding you back? How can you love yourself past the lies? Because it's not a pinnacles in reverse. It's you settling. This is you, this is you accepting, accepting the harsh truths. The Queen of Pentacles is someone who knows her worth. The Queen of Pentacles is knows is know knows how to invest in her. And this is what Spirit is saying. You need to know your worth and knowing how to invest into you and go after what it is that you want and plant your own seeds. You need to learn how to stand up and speak for yourself instead of always shutting down. Instead of always shutting down. And when you do express yourself, you're you aren't really hurt because I also feel like when you do express yourself, you're not hurt in general. So this is why you emotionally shut down because you feel like no one's listening. So with this Knight of Swords to this Queen of, to this King of Cups in reverse, you you when you do express yourself, it comes out wrong. It comes off wrong. They don't understand. It goes in one ear and out the other. So quite naturally, you're like, you know what? Mm, I'm not even gonna say shit. But Spirit is saying you need to say what you need to say. You need to stand up for what you believe in. Stand your ground is one of your lessons. Standing your ground, standing firm in what you believe in, breaking free from this cycle, this this conditioning right here. This is what you're needing to break free from. Um, look, because this is something that you've been holding on to for way too long. That Ten of Swords is there with the moon, the, the Knight of Pentacles. You've been stuck. You've been you, There's been a delay for so long. This could have been going on for the past year. You get what I'm saying? Where you've been stuck. You've been, you, you haven't been able to quite move on and move forward. Best advice for this energy. Ooh. 
listening, 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 listening. It's a number 23. This has a lot to do with change. So it says drawing this symbol indicates that you are meant to listen to what others are saying with their gestures rather than their words. In the house of the night, there will be a beautiful girl with skin of the color of dark honey who has their gift of poetry. She is able to weave tales with her great detail and expression, yet without being obvious or straightforward. Reading between the lines and finding true meaning are what is 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 what reading between the lines and finding true meaning are what are required right now. What? Um, listen and learn what others don't say is what is important at this moment. So spirit is saying, don't pay attention to what others don't say is what is important at this moment. Don't pay attention to what they're saying. Pay attention to what they're not saying. They're not saying how they're not going to change. They're, you're, you're, whatever it is, they're, they're telling you that they're going to change, but is their actions following up suit? They're, they're telling you that this is what we're going to do, but what, what are they actually, what are they not saying? What is it that you are looking to hear that they're not saying? That's why spirit is saying be an open channel because I'm trying to talk to you, period. Okay. Um, hmm. Let's see where our focus should be for this full moon. Where should our focus be? Am I getting enough rest to restore my energy and fully show up to my life? Some of you guys are having the problems that you're having in your life because you are not properly rested. You get what I'm saying? You, you have not taken the necessary time for you to refill up your own cup and you go and you keep constantly giving and 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 giving to these people who's going to constantly take, 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 and they don't have no intention on refilling your cup with the love and support that you need. And this is why spirit is asking you to open up your eyes to see the things that they are not saying and the things that they are not doing. Okay. It says you are the asset. The body is the vehicle. Notice how your body is feeling, how much sleep you are getting and what you can do to help your body rest. Okay, today's soul action says take a bath, put on some lavender essential oil, go to bed ridiculously early or give yourself a time out today. Notice your body thanking you. Today's mantra. It says the more I give myself permission to rest, the more I can contribute. Today's mantra is... The more I give myself permission to rest, the more I can contribute. And then it says, am I willing? That's the other card that came out. Am I willing? You are on the edge of something great. Can you feel it? Yes. There is risk, uncertainty, imperfections ahead. Failure is certain and vulnerability is a requirement. Let's start it over. You are on the edge of something great, period. Bottom right here. There's a win-win in the forecast. It's time to take action. A new start is coming. A time for healing. Okay? You understand me? Nothing will come to this situation because you won't step outside of your comfort zone. Okay? So, you are on the you are on the edge of something great. Can you feel it? Yes, there is risk uncertainty and imperfections ahead and that's all of your fears that you have to take this risk that you don't know how something is going to unfold that it's not as perfect as you want it to be yes you might fail but believing that you want is what spirit wants believing in yourself understanding that if you if there is failure there is a lesson behind it and you will be able to heal and move forward properly understand that there is nothing that you cannot overcome let's continue it says Failure is certain and vulnerability is a requirement. You must be brave and trust yourself more than ever before. You must be brave and trust yourself more than ever before. You will reach the dream, but you must stretch yourself into a whole new level of belief and willingness in order to move forward with courage. You must be brave and trust yourself more than ever before. You will reach the dream, but you must stretch yourself into a new level of belief and willingness in order to move forward with courage. Today's soul action. Be brave. Follow your heart's compass, compass and lift the lid of your own dreams. Today's mantra is it's possible. Today's mantra is it's possible because at the end of the day, 
spirit wants you to know and believe that anything that you put your mind to, you can do. All you have to do is just be open to receiving and trusting in your intuition. Okay, again, some of you guys are needing to put the phone down. What else? Are you, what, what else? Some of you guys are also needing to work on that solar plexus chakra. That solar plexus chakra is trying to shine through, but you have so many blockages here because you're trapped in so much fear. You're trapped in so much fear. But prosperity begins, positive movement forward. Look, I, I haven't even touched this deck. Power, rest and rejuvenate. This is everything that we just talked about. Triumph, the Ace of Swords comes out again. Stand your ground. You get what I'm saying? Whatever heartache, whatever loss, whatever pain, whatever grief, you're whatever resentments, whatever um, torments and beliefs that you believe about yourself or whatever you have recently just went through, learn how to forgive yourself. So you can be able to move on. So you can be able to heal whatever setbacks you're currently having. Understand that these are setbacks because these are some things that you need to go back and look at and say, you know what? I know what I'm supposed to do moving forward. And then when you move forward, you won't repeat the same cycle or mistake because you've learned from your past. That's why wisdom came out as a blockage. That's why release is here and trickery. What have you been telling yourself? What have, how, how have you been mentally fucking yourself? Okay, you understand me? Trapped in fear. Spirit is saying breaking free from these conditions. Breaking the chains. I also hear breaking the silence. Some of you guys have not spoke how you feel. And you guys are needing to break the silence. Okay? Even before we started, I was um, thinking of break every chain, break every chain, break every chain. It's a gospel song. But um, positive moving forward and prosperity begins. But before you can do that, you're going to have to have the strength, the power, and the audacity to choose yourself first you understand me rest and rejuvenate is here okay so some of you guys are needing to heal rest all that what was the overall message time to let go period ha. Ah. time to let go make the fuck move the fuck on it's time for you to let go and move on and this is letting go from um, like I said, fear, letting go from anxiety, letting go from worry, letting go from disbelief, letting go from um, outdated thinking patterns, letting go of the outdated version of yourself, letting go of those broken ass relationships, letting go of those um, unhealed traumatic experiences, letting that shit go because that's no longer a tie to where you are going. OK, um, what am I? What am I afraid most of losing? What's the overall message for you guys? How can I surrender more in this moment? What is it that you're afraid of giving up? What are you afraid of? What be be really honest with yourself. Okay? Be honest with yourself. Let me pull one of these for the overall message. And I'm out of here. So overall message for the collective for this full moon. And Aquarius, current energy, please. I don't know what it is you need to let go of. I can't I can't help you make that decision. I can't tell you what you need to let go of. You know what it is. You know what you've been holding on to so tight, hoping and praying that something will get better or hoping and praying that um, something will work out. Some of you guys have been so afraid of letting go and just being free because you're scared of how people are going to see you not being fully accepted. Some of you guys are just so comfortable with being stagnant and it's not even a bad thing to be stagnant, but it's a bad thing to be stagnant and you don't know that you're being stagnant. You get what I'm saying? It says golden palace and we're also again at another number 23. So both of these are 23, 23 and 23. That's five all day. Change is here. Healing the ouch. Forgiveness is the healer of the soul. That's what I opened it up to. Reverse this card is a message urging you to make amends for any harm you've done to another. Appraise yourself honestly. How, how have you been selfish, greedy, or inconsiderate to others? Have you... Have you harbored resentment towards those who have harmed you in the past? Practice deep radical forgiveness in order to be free. To know healing, you must surrender your old hurts and begin anew. Forgiving yourself and loving yourself is important too. Be humble and willing to admit to your weaknesses. Know the imperfections of your human personality. Walk tall as you take 
the path of the shaman, the wise leader who is willing to go into the shadows to bring healing light to old wounds. And you are the shaman of your own self because you're going in, you're going to heal the old wounds, healing the ouch is what you need to do at this time. This is a time for great soothing of the heart, body, mind, and spirit. This card indicates the healing will prevail in your life now. If you are feeling drawn to study healing arts, okay, healing the ouch card might also be an indicator of old wounds and broken bonds being mended. Reconciliations are possible now. Let bygones be guide bygones. Whatever it is that you need to put aside, put it aside. Whatever it is, relationships that you want to reconcile, whatever relationships that you want to make amends on, do it. But if you're going to do it, make sure that you release all the hurt, the, the baggage, the trauma, the pain, the, all that. Make sure you relieve yourself of that energy before you try to reconcile. Make sure you're holding yourself accountable. Make sure you apologize with a sincere heart. Make sure you open yourself up and say, you know what? I really love you. And I think that this can work. Whatever it is, whoever is trying to reconcile with somebody or something, I don't know. But let's get to this 23 so I can close you guys out. It says the golden palace. Let's read the reverse part, part first. Let go of your tight hold on what you believe security should look like. Now is the time to conserve your energy and count your blessings. Resist the pull to become miser miserly. There will be enough money, love, youth, food, and shelter to go around. A mindset of fear and lack will shut off the flow of true abundance. Trust in the tides because the flow always returns from the ebb. Chop wood, carry water. As the Chinese proverb says, practice faith and the treasure will be revealed. In fact, you'll find it in plain sight. Okay? I feel like chop wood and carry water is saying prepare. As the Chinese verb says, practice faith and the treasure will be revealed. In fact, you'll find You'll find it in plain sight. Getting right with spirit, aligning with yourself, trusting in the divine. You had trust like five times. It says the golden palace card represents good fortune, ambitious, fulfilled wealth and prosperity. It may also indicate emotional fulfillment as perhaps you're entering a time of happiness that's long overdue. This message here is the worth is, is that self-worth isn't measured by what you have no matter how abundant your life is instead it comes from what you are how authentically you're living your life and how much love you're willing to share granted receiving this card does does indicate material gain and furthering of tangible rewards but things come and go and knowing your true value leads to even greater riches now share the wealth this card is saying that you have abundance coming in. And as it comes in, you give it. You be it. You live it. You express it. And the more you express, the more you live, the more you be, the more it will come to you. This that's coming in for you is long overdue. But what you've been walking away from or what you're needing to walk away from is also long overdue. Trust that you're making the right decision. This Aquarius full moon is coming back around because you didn't let it go the first time and you should have. And Spirit is saying, I'm giving you this energy to help aid you to release and let go of the things that no longer serves you. Need to be a person, place, or thing. Choose you. Put you first. Be fucking great while you're doing it and know that you are deserving of the very fucking best. Period. I'm going to leave you guys there after this angel answer. Ha! <laughs> best advice listen to your intuition best advice for the collective for this full moon energy best advice collectively be assertive romance some of you guys are going towards love go for it forgiveness some of you guys are needing to heal a relationship do that shit because this relationship is a love of a lifetime remain positive okay opportunity like i said Remain positive because this uh, this this love that you want, this love that you're wanting to go towards is is the love that you've been waiting for. This is the love that you're seeking. This is everything that you need. Peaceful resolution. You have no reconsider. If you're looking at something on whether or not this is going to be a peaceful resolution, it's not. 
You've been trying to make peace out of this situation for too long. And it's time for you to go towards something and forgive that whatever this whatever this romance is, forgive, release, let go because you have something new coming towards you. Yes, I know what the fuck I'm talking about. This situation will improve. Okay, so it's two different situations. Maybe I should do a love reading, but I'm not. Um, there's two different situations. There's one you need to walk away from and there's one you need to walk towards. Because the one that you're walking away from Look, something went wrong. Please try again. That's what Siri just said. The one you're trying to, the one you should be walking away from, it's like something is going wrong. You need to walk away. Please try again. That's what, that's, that's what, that's what the other person is saying. Like, no, this ain't right. We can try. We can do this. No, but how long have you guys been trying? Eight years? Eight months? You get what I'm saying? How, how long have you guys been trying? Whatever it is, you need to walk away and reconsider because within the next few weeks, it's a yes and the situation will improve. Um, yeah, that's what I'm getting. No, reconsider. Because there's something that can improve, but you're needing to reconsider first. I, if, if, that, if that makes sense. No, reconsider. You need to look at something from a different perspective. Within the next few weeks, yes, this situation will improve. For some of you, for some of you guys, this is about a job or this is about something that you're doing when it comes to work. And Spirit is saying, don't lose your faith. Keep at it because this situation will improve within the next few weeks. It may take a few weeks to a month or so for the situation to turn around, but it will. Um, yeah. Okay. So yeah, I'm gonna leave you guys there. Reconsider. No, change your mind, change your perspective. Look and see things from a higher perspective. Stop thinking that something can be reconsidered when it can't. Okay, remain positive. Opportunity of a lifetime is right here. See you guys later. Happy full moon.